All right. Hello, wine-drinking people. Today is Thursday, the 6th of February. We're getting ready to take down a bunch of Pinot Noir and Champagne tomorrow night at our annual pre-Valentine Champagne and Pinot Noir tasting. And we still got room for a few people if you guys want to check it out. Next week, we have got four or five events incredible lineup of producers coming into town and hey some once in a lifetime tastings that yours truly will be hosting we're starting out tuesday night we got two events that night if you're looking at the calendar you're seeing double vision that's right we've got matt hobbs in town at market 17 and then we have got uh, uh a bets tasting here bets family wines from washington state here at the store wednesday night Big Hamina. this is a small producer from oregon uh that'll be here todd biggio uh, Todd Hamina, sorry, and then we've got uh, our Kistler tasting uh, Thursday night here. Pre, just a little warm up here for Valentine's Day, and then Chateau Yakem on Valentine's uh, the 14th, the Friday. And um, hey, what a perfect tasting to do on Valentine's Chateau Yakem. I think we have one seat left for that. We still have a few seats left for this tasting, and those of you that know California Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. No Kistler Vineyards. And uh, this is a, a, a winery that's been around since 1979. Mark Bixler and Steve Kistler started this winery. Two people that love Burgundian-style Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. And, hey, it's not often that Clive Coates says... He's one of the greatest producers of Chardonnay in California history. And, uh, you know, he doesn't really like, you know, New World wines very much. He doesn't even know who a lot of these people are in California, but he does know Kistler. And uh, two thumbs up from him. It's one of the things all the critics pretty much have agreed on over the years. Robert Parker Jr. calling them one of the greatest producers in California, writing several, a lot of their wines in the mid-90s, which is what it takes to sell wines direct. And Kistler Vineyards, the most successful winery of all time, selling wine direct on their mailing list. I think they're up to like 80% of their sales are direct to consumer. And uh, they started out making a lot of Chardonnay and just a little bit of Pinot Noir. Their Pinot Noir is very hard to get. And uh, we've got a nice little collection of stuff that we've amassed through the years. You know, the Wine Watch has got a special relationship with Kistler. The founder, Jim Turner, who wrote for the Wine News and waxed poetic about these wines, just like the Wine Spectator did. And like I said, every other critic, Connoisseur's Guide to California Wine that rates wine in smoke puffs, gave Kistler Winery more smoke puffs than any other winery in the history of California. Well, uh, you know... Jim was a major reason why Southern Wine and Spirits, a distributor, got this brand. So for the longest time, we were the only people that were allowed to sell Kistler Retail. Well, that's not true anymore. Nobody can sell Kistler Retail. Well, I'm sorry. We do have a few bottles here and uh, some collectors. We do a little horse trading to get these wines. And uh, we've got a nice little selection, like I said. And tonight, we're going to be opening up. Uh, four to five whites, four to five reds. I don't know. You always get extra when you come to a wine watch tasting. And uh, check it out. All the things we'll be serving Tuesday, the 13th of February, from Kistler Vineyard, Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, back to 1999. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the wine watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.